Hi everyone, Philippe from CrowdSec. So here is a 103, uh, uh, it's about email safety. Uh, let's go dive in. So the first rule of them is never ever trust a sender of an email because it's super easy to forge. It takes literally minutes and not even. Uh, it can be industrialized. So if your boss sends you an email, it can be someone impersonating your boss sending you an email. I can send you an email from yourself or from Neil Armstrong if you want in a matter of minutes. So it's really not something you should trust. Second thing is never open or download something that you're instructed to uh, recover from an unknown person. You know, like going on a website, opening some uh, something and downloading it to your machine and opening it or having an attachment to an email that is a doc, a PDF or Excel file, or whatever. There are macros in there that could be triggered and you don't know those person. So don't do it at all, ever. And also, same thing applies for USB stick. Don't plug them and open something from an unknown person. If the person is unknown, don't trust it, right? The next thing is email or calls that are urging you to do something, and most of all in secrecy, are highly suspicious in nature. Never ever trust them. It's the way for hackers to do social engineering and, to, and make you think that this requires a lot of secrecy where it's actually, they are trying to trick you. So you will never be punished for, you know, double confirmation. So stay calm, think, confront, double check, you know, if this request, this demand is legitimate and authentic and come really from the issuer that is supposed to, to give you this order. So that is really, really critical. Bonuses. So you can check, you can have a code in between you uh, for signature, for example, or for an email in the style of writing it so that if there is something that is mismatching like bad grammar, uh, spelling mistakes, or maybe you sign with three underscore and there are only two or known. Uh, maybe you always say hello in the same way and it's not written in the same way, then you know something may be wrong. So just call the person. Also have a safe word eventually, you know, uh, can't wait for our next beer, uh, either on the phone or by email, could mean I'm under constraint, don't trust what I'm saying. I have a safe word with my team. And in case of highly confidential information, use GNU PG to uh, cipher them, drop them into a draft email into Gmail and never send it. And just, you know, let the other person connect to the same mailbox and recover the, the draft email, take his content and decode it locally on his computer. That way you never really transmitted, uh, transmitted any secret and you still are able to, to read and uh, send this content to someone else. So it's, it's a pretty safe method. That's all I had to say on this uh, topic. It's very short and it's made to be pragmatic. Thank you for listening and stay safe.